Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, this morning we uh, did go to a few sales, uh, like an estate sale and a couple of garage sales. Kind of slim pickings. Weather was pretty bad yesterday, um, which definitely had a big impact. It'll probably have an impact on tomorrow's sales too, but we, we got what we could. Yeah, yeah, we picked up a few things and we will show you those things later. Um, we do have orders to pull. All of our orders today are coming off at eBay. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's go. Cause okay. it's, like I said, we were out. We went out, we went, we drove into Baton Rouge and um, it's after 10, at, 10 in the morning now. So we need to get to it. All right, we sold the last pack of uh, Crown Royal bags, the last 10 pack. Okay. They're uh, old Pauline box. Oh, I know where they're at. The last of it. That took a long time. I'll have to put the thumbnail for the video where we sh we bought these, and I'll have to look and see how long ago it was. Cause I think it's been about two years, huh? Probably yeah. about two years. I, I need to start think. searching for some more. I guess uh, those <laughs> sold for twelve ninety nine. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. If we come across them, we'll buy them. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, pocket one twenty eight Thundercracker fist. 128 yeah that's a fist yep <laughs> 899 for that okay seven alpha we sold the black durango boots all right let's see starting to get a little room back here these i think it's the bottoms All right, I think it's these. It might be the. Uh, I couldn't. It was kind of I hard. I think that's to, them. The box was uh, taped up. Make sure these are the right ones. Yep. That's the right ones for sure. Yep. Okay. All right. So we sold those for eighty-five. We took an offer on those. Yeah, we had uh we had a decent amount of money in those. Didn't we pay like how much? Twenty-five a pair. We have a brown and a black pair. Yeah. Yep. Okay, on five Bravo right, a brass chicken doorstop. Five Bravo. Ah, it's right here. Didn't we have two of these? No. Huh? No, we did not. We didn't? There was something similar to this we had no, no. two of. Maybe we did, but because they were sold as bookends, but they're not. They're, they're door, door stops. stops. Yeah. yeah, we did have two of them. Maybe we did. Yeah. Remember they, they were, were a little bit different. Huh? They were slightly different. Yeah, that's right. Um, $39.99 for that. This is Sarid Limited Made in Spain. Yeah. That yeah. sucker. Man, this, have, it is. Great door stop. Two Charlie uh, Sheikah camera. With a bag and case, lens and case. Yeah, this is a cool little camera. I, I sold it partially tested, I think. So, um, you know, fingers, this kind of thing, fingers crossed, they're happy with it because I didn't film test it or anything. You made I don't, sure the shutter worked and all I that. I just, yeah, I made sure the shutter worked. Let me look, pull the listing up. I'll, okay. I'll, see how i described it let's see what did i say uh please note camera has not been fully tested is being sold in parts only condition okay yeah i sold it part four parts are not working good no returns accepted on this listing okay testing that has been performed is to wind the foam lever and press the shutter actuator shutter functions fine and the shutter speed seems to work fine as well this the auto shutter timer works as well Camera requires a battery function. None of those functions have been tested. Camera does not come with a battery. I inspected both ends of the battery compartment carefully and zero signs of corrosion. Also, the camera has not been film tested. Again, it is sold as is. Cosmetically, the camera and case is in excellent condition. The lens is clear and clean. Case is in very good condition with no cracking or other man I, I put a yeah so that's an important thing to note um if you're if you're listing something as is in a category that has four parts or not working you have to select that category yeah. to be covered however what i did do on this I, I would like to point out even with that condition for parts are not working all this stuff that i put in here yep I still have to stand good for that. Yeah. If I say the shutter actuator works and all this other stuff, 
it's still like it has to, work. It has to do gotta, that like yeah. you can say parts only as is but then if you say anything on top of that you're you you have like you you could be held to that yes yeah so like in in general usually whenever i do parts only not working um I don't make any claims like that, but I did this time because I wanted to get a little extra money for it. Yeah, so we ended up getting 50. Um, do you know offhand what it would sell for, like if it were Maybe, tested working? I don't know. Yeah. 100 or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, pocket 136, some more Thundercracker parts. Missiles. The long missiles. 136? Yep. Yeah, these are like super pricey, huh? 44.99 for those. Yeah, we sold some smaller things like this the other day that were yeah, like way they, cheaper. They came with short and long missiles. For some reason, the long missiles must have gotten lost. I they don't know. Maybe broken because they're longer. I don't know. They're worth like four times the other ones. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Uh, 10 Charlie Jedi box. This is the last item we're pulling. Okay. 10 Charlie Jedi box. Okay, this whole thing, I think. Yep, it's a lot of five Hot Wheels Jedi cars. Star Wars last from Last Jedi, I should say. Last Jedi. Okay. We actually, believe it or not, uh, we don't have a ton out here. We actually had a very good sales day yesterday. Yeah. Because I, we pulled some of that stuff yesterday. Yeah. Like the um, the lot the uh, I'll, okay I'll say it. Yadro. <laughs> because I realized like there's so many people talking about how the way I was pronouncing yeah. Yadro or Ladro mm -hmm. that um. We have I mean, some words down here I could spell for y'all and see if y'all know how to say well, them. Well, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, a lot of times I'm joking about that kind of thing. Yeah. I actually did take, I took four years of Spanish in high school. I took a year in college. I understand. How uh, two L's work. I understand how two L's work in that language. Like, but, I mean, a lot of this is uh, just me trying to be funny. It's... Sometimes it's me being stupid, but a lot, most of the times it's not. Like, I actually have a pretty good vocabulary and understanding of yeah. how words work. Yeah. Uh, I have one question, though. Yes. Um, how do you say this word? Wait, hang on. I'll write it down. Word. Yama. That's a yama? Yeah. Okay. All right. Like te yama? Okay. So it's not llama. Because I've always heard people say llama. I, I, I know. Well. Well, uh, uh, uh. I wonder if it's originally a Spanish word now that you're saying that. I don't know. I have to look up the origin of that It's word. a yama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get to packing and get this stuff out of here. And then we'll show you all the stuff we picked up. Okay. We're going to show you all some stuff that we picked up. Um this first bench of stuff that you see here all of this i put into a bag at an estate sale uh it was outside they they didn't let us go in until exactly nine o'clock and they were handing out numbers this is not something we usually partake in um but we did today and i think candace got number 22 and then i'm like oh wait I need to get a number. I got 24. We made it in the house on the first round. Yeah. But uh, there was stuff outside, like the garage area. And I put, I shopped around out there while we were waiting to go in. And uh, this is what I picked up. I put all this into one bag and I paid $18 for everything on the bench here. So this is a Zune, Microsoft Zune, 120 gig does it work don't know i do have the charger though and i think if it does work it looks like it'll probably clean up all right maybe yeah yeah i think that's just i think it's actually in pretty good cosmetic condition but yeah if it works it's 50, a little maybe 50 or a little more if it doesn't it's going to be less of course also picked up these two sony walkman uh but you're basically oh look this one's actually coming on <laughs> it's coming up yeah creating library so they're little mp3 players look it actually has music on it nice oh it's barely going though and look the battery's almost dead yeah power off 
The battery, the charging cables were probably out there somewhere. I was, I looked for them. I didn't see there them. There was a ton of stuff out there, y'all. Like a ton. It was crazy. And then this is another one here. I don't know if this one's going to, let's see, power on or whatever. But yeah, I don't, I mean, the, the, they aren't worth a ton. And I looked this one up and in working condition, it's like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, it's not worth enough, I don't think to where I want to even fool with it's got like a proprietary charger port there so does this other one so does the Zune for that matter so I don't know I'll probably just sell them as they sit this one would be sold of course without a charger but if I could power it up and take a quick picture that might help yeah um, and then also I saw oh anytime I see this brand Craig I usually get somewhat interested because I've, I've found some decent stuff from them before, uh, little jigs and whatnot. So this is Craig Jig R3. I don't think this is worth a ton, maybe like $20, $25, but it does look like it's all in there. This is a little, I've actually seen infomercials for their products before. I'm not going to take it out, but yeah, look, it's this thing here. It's for cabinet builders and stuff. Um, so yeah, we got that. And then this just happened to be there too. So I went ahead and picked them up. I don't know. Maybe I can sell these with that. I don't know. Um, then they also had these clamps, these Craig clamps. Some kind of specialty cabinet building clamps of some sort. And I went ahead and pulled up some comps on those. And I think it's this. It looks like it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, prices look pretty good on those. 25 to $35 or so. I got to figure out what size we have. But, uh, yeah, so that was this potentially like 60 bucks just right here. I think this might be the packaging for it, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then we have, like... Got a manual for this thing. I don't know what this is. Is that our introduction to cabinet making? <laughs> oh, I guess they bought that. Too. Oh, I guess they bought these tools. I guess I'll have. Yeah. And this is um, this thing. I'm not real sure about. It's got all these maps, specialty stuff. I did look out. Look at all these discs in here. Oh, no. It's from 2005, and that's another little set there. Um, I did, I did find some stuff similar to this. I didn't find this exact thing. I'm thinking you may, it might have like forty, fifty dollars worth of stuff there. Hmm. So, just my bag here. Let, let, let me be conservative. Uh, let me just say thirty here. I'll just assume parts only on all of it. Thirty. Uh, I'll say fifty-five. 85 115 uh, I'll, I'll i'll give that 30 uh 140 maybe 145 dollars and I, I think that's fairly conservative 145 dollars okay. for the 18 dollar bag yeah so that was a good bag okay um we still in the outside area i found look how cool these are they're little string lights and the covers are little plastic clown heads uh, never seen anything. I've seen like with elves or Santa Clauses, whatever, not clowns. I guess that's supposed to be clowns. Thought those were cool. Um, he gave he charged me a dollar for those. Okay, this next thing I saw this box here and I saw that it had marks on it and it just all this stuff was like dumped in there. So I just took the box up to him and um I got charged two dollars for the whole box. I know like all of this does not go with this battleground set. You, you get better prices than I do. <laughs> <laughs> um it doesn't all go with this battleground set i think the scale for those is going to be your typical little army men um so you have like i think like these go with it maybe or that scale i'll have to sort through it all we've got like barbed wire and um i'm hoping these are marks I figures i think all the gray ones are candace because yeah. when i looked on ebay um oh actually they say marks on the bottom they do and, okay. and they're, they have a date on them cool m c m l x i i i i i i uh i think it's 63 x i i would be two right l x 
I, I, I would be it was three. three eyes. Okay. LX, though, I think is 60, I believe. So 1962. Yeah, so all the, I think all the gray stuff is marks for sure. And the box is trash, so I can't even see a date on it. But okay. Here's, a, here's the cover. Um, you can kind of see what all came in it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that helps you. Like, so. look, I have the trees here. Yeah. So that'll kind of help me figure out what is and what isn't. And, pe and people, like, this This stuff does sell. Yeah. Sometimes for really good money. Yeah. I'd like, this is broken. It's missing a leg on it. it might, is that this thing? Here? It's no, it's that. that. Yeah. Hmm. Also in there was this little Ziploc bag. Um, I see, like, this has mesh on it. I don't know what line this is from. And then this looks like it could be a G.I. Joe rifle. And then some little other figures here for me to sort through. That one actually had it. Yep, it's marked. Uh, blue box, Hong Kong. Yep. I like this guy. He apparently has a horse somewhere without Wow, him. look at him. <laughs> I wonder, man, imagine having to walk around like that all the time. <laughs> all the, so, um, yeah, $2 for all of this. I don't know if he could fit through the shed door like that. I know. He's like... <laughs> Uh, howdy. <laughs> howdy, partner. All right, let me get this stuff picked up. Um, we have some more stuff to show you. Okay, last thing at the state sale, we actually went because um, I saw pictures. They had some really cool board games, including this one. Um, didn't know what the prices were going to be, and I kind of I had a, a very bad oops. So um, let's start out with this one. If this is complete, you're looking at probably around 50 bucks or more. Um, didn't know if it was or not. Uh, paid five for it. Worst case scenario, um, I may just part it out, you know. Yeah, it's got these little records here that are supposed to go in, in this thing here. And I think we're missing a battery cover. I'm not sure how much we're missing out of that. So this is probably going to be like replacement parts, I imagine. Um, yeah, I paid $5 for that. This is um, Nip Nop. Or I guess Nip Gnip. I don't know. Um, so this is where my big oops was. It was pretty dark in this little room, and I thought this was two dollars. It was actually twelve. Yeah, because we were gotten back in the truck, and Candace and I was like, "What's that game worth, Candace?" And uh, because I knew, I knew it, it, it was a little pricey because I was hold, I was the one holding it, like when we were <laughs> checking out. What's that game worth? And she goes, "I don't know. It's only two dollars. I'm not sure. It's only two bucks." I'm like, "There was nothing we bought that was two neither neither one of those games is two dollars I, I don't remember exactly what it was but it was not she's like huh yeah so we paid 12 and i think it's worth about 30 so um yeah that's not great <laughs> you know what is good look at the condition of it yeah our condition is really nice like the plat the clear plastic up here is not all scuffed up and stuff this game i guess you have to get all your balls on the other side before the other person before maybe? they get all their balls on yeah. your side whenever you hit these things it flies towards those hoops in the middle. Yeah. There, I got one through. Yeah. I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool. I, I'm really, like, the action of this thing. It's so clunky. It's so violent and, like, and it's, we're dealing with old plastic stuff here. Yeah. I bet there's a lot of broken ones out there. Mm -hmm. So for us, for ours to be in really great shape with the box in pretty good shape, like at least we'll be we'll be top of market anyway. I, I would think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely would not have paid twelve dollars there for that. No, 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 no. no. It really um, sucks getting old and having bad eyesight. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I would have known. I would have helped, but I didn't know that you didn't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and then um, I paid $18 for these three figures in this bag. I made a mistake on this one. So um, Lonnie, I was trying to comp him and Lonnie came in to help me. And so we have the 1977 R2. He's got his complete sticker. It is yellowed, but it's it's all there. Um, it's interesting. The one the ones I've had in the past have the telescopic little thing that pops up. He does not, but his head does do click. Which I know can be very important in the value of these old R2-D2s. Show, like, show them. Like, like when you turn it, it makes it like yep. a click. So um, I'm thinking he's worth probably at least around $30. Okay. And then um, without his bowcaster, he's probably more like 8 to 10. The bowcaster is everything on Chewbacca yeah. when it comes to value. 
And then this guy, this is a Battlestar Galactica fig. And I did an image search on this and I wasn't like careful enough to like really pay attention. I thought I saw solds for like 40 to $60 but that was for a 12 inch figure. Yeah. And this guy in this condition, we might be looking at 10 to 15 or yeah. something. Yeah. So, I mean, really that, would we have paid 18 for that bag? Probably not. No. I don't think so. No, we wouldn't have. Um, so, I mean, that's a couple of fails. That's two big mistakes that <laughs> cost us a good chunk of money. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, although, we're not going to lose money, but no, no, no. we're that's, definitely not going to make what we should thought we were going to make. That's two mistakes that cost us time. Yeah. Which is money. People yeah. people say time is money. They don't you really they don't usually really mean it. <laughs> but yeah, but it probably wasn't worth our time to pick that up. No. But now that we have it, we're going to sell it and we're going to make the best of it. And then we did stop at one garage sale uh <laughs> And all I found were these coloring books for 25 cents because they are vintage. Um, Care Bears, Poochie, and uh, Adventures of Batman and Robin. This, I have not, man, I have not heard of Poochie. Uh, you weren't a little girl in the 80s then. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, I haven't heard of Poochie in forever 40 years or I something. Yeah. I remember the commercials. Yeah. Oh, look, they colored this little page here. Yeah. And, There's uh, a few colored pages yeah. on each. I mean, you don't remember the 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 ads? Oh no! Poochie, poochie for girls. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know what you said. yeah. <laughs> That's all I knew. As soon as those ads told me poochie for girls, I'm like, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go anywhere near it. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. All right, check this out. This is like so, like sick. Poochie. That was enough to tell you you didn't want anything to do. Do you remember that now? I do. Yeah. Poochie for girls. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, boy. They wouldn't. They couldn't. They wouldn't put an ad out there, out like that. Like that. Ugh. They wouldn't put an ad like that out now. No. Like, don't tell me what gender I gotta be to play with that toy. Right. Who or do you like think secret you are? for women. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Strong enough for a man. For me, for a woman. Yeah, they can't. They don't do that kind of thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so um, these are probably not huge money, but for twenty five cents, I'll just grab them. So. They actually, it was actually the sale where we got all those vintage toys. Was that two weeks ago? Yeah. We stopped at the same sale just to see if they put anything new out. And they, they hadn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> so. All right, we've just been working through some of this stuff. Um, that's the pocket hole jig little set. I listed that for 30 because it, it did come with three full boxes of screws and plugs and stuff. These clamps were not as big as some of the other ones, so I didn't ask as much money. But I listed them both for 40. This was Candace figured out where King Kong was from. Listed him for 15, part of a model kit or something. And then I listed those topographic map software stuff for 40 bucks. And not I think it'll probably sell. I think it might take a while. I think it probably will sell, though. There's not a ton of those listed. I found some sold stuff from some other regions. Uh, this Walkman, I'm probably going to list parts only for like $15, eh, maybe even $12 or something. And then this one that powers up, I'm going to power it up, take my photo, <laughs> and then just I'm going to charge a price like pretty cheap, probably like $25. If it was in a little better condition and had I had the charger and stuff, uh, we'd probably be looking at a little, like 50 plus. But I'm happy to do 25 if somebody wants to buy it like this. Because I could show that it works. And the fact that it has a charge on it, right? any charge on it right now, means that sometime in the not too distant past, it did take a charge and it was working. It and was that working. the battery's good too. And the battery works too. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, could we have a problem with it? Maybe, but I feel comfortable doing that.
What about that one? Oh, this I've had this charging, and I don't. There's not two. This is a Zoom, by the way. Nothing, huh? And it's dead as a doorknob. It might, it might just have a a bad battery or something, but it's not worth. It's not worth fooling with because like even if i did get it like if it was absolutely mint condition perfectly working and everything 70 bucks maybe that would so, be good <laughs> but i don't but you start messing with the thing yeah and if and what you think might be it isn't it yeah then you just wasted money and time and stuff so mm -hmm. i'm probably just gonna list that for like 15 dollars or something yeah as is so um i'm i'm actually Tack on the silverware, if y'all y'all may remember, we picked up last weekend at an estate sale uh, for twenty bucks for all of it. And um, it's W M Rogers. It's the extra plate silver plate, which means they silver plate it and then they put like a little extra layer on it. And you can see it too. Yeah. Um. So I'm doing something different. Usually I sell it, maybe like singles, or I'll do like four forks or something like that. I decided to do place settings because um, it was, you can tell it was originally um, setting for eight, but a few of the um, styles I only have seven of. So I'm going to do four place, I'm going to do place settings. I'm going to do seven lots of those. Like that? Yep. And I'm including the butter knife because for some reason they had a lot of butter knives. Like, the, you know, like that. So, so if somebody needs a piece or two. And what are you going to price them at, you think? I'm thinking $20 per place setting. So that's $140. And just the place settings and then i'll have all this left back here to list also like serving pieces and stuff okay so and if somebody needs a piece or two they might and they see that oh well, i can replace that piece plus I have extra of these yeah. they might just go ahead and buy a place setting anyway or somebody may have uh six place settings and they want to increase it to eight maybe they got two new members of their family or something so yeah or just replace some messed up pieces Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. We're trying that out. Something different we've never done before. We'll see how it works out. Candace is using the Royal Wii because I don't mess with none of it. <laughs> I have nothing to do with any of that stuff. It's not my thing. <laughs> yeah, well, what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours. Okay. When it comes to the shed. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we need to get nip knop. Nip yep, knop. Oh, uh, we do have to put some rubber bands in it. Yeah, it's um, it's interesting. I think it's on the box, actually. And it's just looks like standard rubber bands go in here just to give it a little resistance. Well, no, that that's what like that's what makes it like springy. Yeah. Like just now when I was doing it, they they would fall back just naturally, mm -hmm. but that gives them a little more bounce. Yeah. So you don't have to like whack them as hard. So it looks like just standard rubber band. We'll have to figure out what size. But here's the dumb thing: when we were looking at comps a little while ago, so uh, several people were like missing rubber bands and it's like rubber those look like we haven't looked at it yet yeah those look like standard rubber bands to me although i'll tell you what if the ones we have don't work we're not going to go out and buy some no <laughs> so we'll be listing without rubber bands too well i'm uh no, we do I'm, have those we have a box over here. i have a feeling we can make one of these work yeah well, here's a rubber band yeah they're pretty, that's probably gonna work they're, yeah they're pretty stretchy so yeah. we'll try it out and we will disclose that not the original rubber band. Oh, who wants you... orig original rubber band from the set? It wouldn't be good. Nobody's right. going to have original rubber I bands. I don't think so either. And maybe just the honesty will help our sell. Looks like they do sell for about $30. It's so. it's just like a G.I. Joe, um, the little, uh, what do you call the, the rubber? The O-rings. The O-rings mm -hmm. uh, that, that go in the G.I. Joes. Nobody really wants original O-rings. Right. Right. Because yeah, like if, for some reason they happen to be in terrific condition. Yeah, but why would you care if they're original? I was thinking that. I was just thinking that the other day. I was like, why? Most times original is great, but on a part like that that is either is either worn out is gonna or is gonna wear out. Yeah. Then that's not necessarily you know that's kind of like someone buying a classic car. Mm -hmm. And but they want the original oil filter on it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's just not a thing. Yeah, I mean I, I can see that with the Joes because the O rings don't show now. Maybe when they go replacing like the pins and the uh, joints, like the elbows and stuff. Yeah, that's visible, but the O rings are not. You can't even see them. So I, I get that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it's wow. It's uh it's four o'clock already. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and fool with these three 
little player things. I don't even know. Let's see. All my stuff was from my $18 bag. Yeah, you've done well. Uh, uh, not quite. Maybe not quite as. Let's see. I've listed. How much did I say earlier? Do you know what my guess was? 140, I think. 140. Okay. Well, so far I've listed 40, 40, 30. 40, 40, and 30 is what? 110? Yeah. So I just need to get 30 out of those to hit 140. Okay, I'll, I can That's do that. That's about right. You I'll can, do that you easily. That's about right on your number. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my little three things listed and finish off my $18 bag. Then probably do a little editing. Candace going to work on her silverware. Yep. And that is going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.